everybody and welcome back to the Average Artists channel. I'm Steph, I'm the Average Artist and today we are going to be checking out this brushable markers, brushable? That's not the name. Windsor & Utah brush marker pens that my friends really kindly gifted to me for my birthday. It's a 48 essential marker set and I've been really enjoying them. I got super inspired because I really like um, alcohol markers and I really like these ones because they have the brush tip which is really nice to use it's like really smooth and just like painting really so I really enjoy these and I really like all these colors it's it's been really fun I've been doodling a lot of stuff recently and feeling pretty inspired to work on a comic a new comic I'm not gonna say the horror comic because Lord knows where that's at, um, but yeah, I'm I'm feeling inspired to work on a comic that could be in this style because I think I was for so long trying to do something different and like forcing myself that it put me off a little bit. So like here's my old horror comic, Emily is Burning, and it was all made with these, it was made with alcohol markers, not necessarily these Windsor & Newton ones. And then also I used a black pencil and I'm really enjoying using this Faber-Castell Polychromos black pencil with this kind of technique where I paint first with the, well, draw first with the brush marker pens and then like kind of go over little areas with the black pencil and I really like in the way that this kind of style is working out for me. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do today is just do some concepts of stuff for maybe a new comic and uh, yeah do it more in this style because I know I really enjoyed this style originally so why wouldn't I continue doing like that so I'm gonna try and uh, emulate Emily is burning this is still for sale on my Etsy store if anybody fancies grabbing a copy by the way um, no pressure and yeah so I'm just gonna doodle I'm really I really liked um, some of these concepts because this is kind of that style that I was thinking of with the the mo the motels kind of 1950s 60s you know and then this sort of was like a mood board for that I think and yeah I'm really enjoying it so let's just let's just get down to doodling some stuff and maybe coming up with some some concepts I'm using the MD paper Midori sketchbook which I really like it's I never had one but Chris has always had them and I've always envied them so I just bought a A4 one and as you can see the paper is very thin but it is very nice to use so I'm not really minding I have to kind of just skip every other page that I use alcohol markers on but I think I'm going to use those pages for like sketches and stuff so like sketches here and then sketches on that side and then I will do like sketches here and then yeah, just uh, sketches here and then use this page. So that's kind of what has to happen because it's very thin paper but it's still really nice to use so I don't mind so much and I'm really liking this shape. It lies flat which is always a chef's kiss moment, isn't it? Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look on Pinterest and sort of chop and paste like images together in my head and sort of take inspiration from them. And then yeah, let's let's get on with uh, doing some doodles. I've also like um, another tip for me is that I went on ASOS, and these are all kind of ASOS models. I think if you don't know what ASOS is, it's like a clothing store. So I just found poses that I really like and drew them, but like kind of changed them a bit and like made them more my style, of course. So that was quite a nice thing to do as well. So I'm really enjoying using the Polychromos uh, pens. I've got a few of the pencils. I've got a few of them. So I like to like kind of use them uh, over the alcohol markers as well. Like I think it's quite fun to add a bit of texture and stuff. This is also Holbein um, ones from Japan, which I got when I was in Japan. So I've got like a mixture of those and the, the Polychromos ones. So what I like to do is sketch out the image with the alcohol markers first and then go in with details with the black pencil because I think if I make a sketch with the the polychromos I think it doesn't feel like as organic somehow I don't know how to explain it I just think it looks nicer and then we don't have to fill out all the lines as well it looks kind of cool like that so I'm just gonna sketch some scenes t today and see like if it 
brings out a story a little bit because with the motel story I was kind of like I knew exactly where I wanted to, it to go but there was always just like missing pieces so I'm trying to think like what I could add to it so right now the motel story is kind of about a woman who goes uh, to a motel because maybe her mother has died in town and she needs to go there to like uh, go to her funeral and stuff but she doesn't want to stay in the house I think like maybe the house is being I think maybe the house is being like repossessed or something in my story or I don't know something like that um, and then I kept thinking like she would have her niece with her but I think I might cut that from the story I'm not sure it's a big long process basically and it's it's been difficult because uh, I just I felt really inspired in the beginning and then I was like this story is not very interesting and it wasn't you know when sometimes the stories just like speak to you and you know what to write down and then and then other times it's like what where is the story going like what is interesting about this what can I do that will actually be a good ending and stuff like that so still kind of working that out in my head I think I just need to sit down and write which has been like a while since I've done that so with Emily is burning what happened was I got really inspired drawing first and then I went and wrote the script and right now I'm feeling really inspired with these brush markers and it's it's pretty cool to feel like that again so I'm really happy to have that inspiration and these are really really nice and just that style I guess is like my style uh, or this style of with the the, the alcohol markers that I did for Emily is burning I feel like that's really really what I've been trying to stray away from it for like the past year and I'm like but why have I done that because if I enjoyed it, which I do, why have I strayed away from it? So it was a real gift to get these brush markers and test them out and then realise that I really like them, especially with this sketchbook, because my other sketchbook I was really not enjoying, and you know when you just... I mean, I always blame the sketchbook, but it's just, it is a bit rubbishy to blame the sketchbook, because it's probably just me, but I feel like... Yeah, I just, when you don't, I didn't like that sketchbook, so I felt really, like, in a slump with my art, if that makes sense. But it doesn't, it's not really fair to blame the sketchbook, so, I don't know. I'm just layering down, like, colours at the moment, blocking out shapes, which really helps me to visualise what's going on. The really nice thing with these alcohol markers is that, like, if I've blocked off a shape a little bit incorrectly, I can just go ahead and stretch out or do a little bit more. In certain areas and I think it, it's really helpful for me because I always make mistakes so it's very nice to just go ahead and draw with them. Generally just like to build up the colour with these two is kind of nice. Hey, now I'm ready to use my polychromos so let's see how it goes. Um, just like to indicate like some lines. Still keeping it quite loose because I really like that style of like Looseness. Looseness. I just think it looks cool. I do want to bring in some like texture here as well. I think this green is way too bright. Okay, let's call that one a warm up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to draw some characters now I think. So again just starting out blocking shapes of this face. I made this way too big but it doesn't matter. He looks like a blob right now <laughs> but I hope that it will look okay once I'm done. It's got kind of like this crop top one that's super boxy so I'm playing on that. Then I really like to use this like light lilac colour for shadows because I think it just looks really cool. It adds something to it I think. I'm just gonna keep... Yeah I think she looks kind of cool. Let's 
some shimmies. Maybe increase some of the dark. Okay, let's do this this time. trying to make shapes here now it's always good to like look at the negative space something I always try to do or kind of forget about doing This one's coming out a bit weird, <laughs> but if we keep going then it might get better, so I'm hoping anyway. This has kind of bled too much into her face. Let's see if we can uh, fix it. Yeah, I definitely made her face way too small, but kind of like it in the end. It's kind of cute, so I think I really, like this brown was really not a nice brown to use, sandstone, it just didn't look very nice. Oh my god, all the way down here, okay. Doesn't matter, it's gonna be her hair. <laughs> so I'm just trying to like block out the features really. Um, you can see it didn't turn out so well here, it kind of looks, it kind of looks like her face is a little bit squished, so let's see if we can do a better job this time. So like here's her face, so she's kind of got her back turned to me, so like that's her back. Um, some kind of difficult pose. I don't know why I picked this one. Oh, we gotta challenge ourselves, right? So, and then her lips are like model pose lips. And then she's like that. Okay, let's just uh, block it out. And then we'll see what happens when I go to color everything else in. Cause she's got like a dress on like this, right? So let's see, that's her arm going here. And her hands are like this. Then her back arm is like this. So she's like curved her back. So the dress goes like a crisscross. And then it's like here. Her elbow. Okay. Let's see how this turns out. I feel like I made her eye too big here. Uh, so she looks a little bit cross-eyed, but okay. We're gonna push through that. Again, I made her face a little bit too big. But I kinda like it. I think I'm gonna end it there. Um, yeah, so these are just some doodles and sketches with the brush markers and the polypromos and I hope you guys enjoy just watching me sketch and uh, chatting along with you guys. So uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I have a Patreon down below if you're interested. It really helps the channel out if you wanna check that out. I really appreciate it. So thanks a lot guys and I will see you next time. Bye. I'd like to thank my patrons for your really kind support. They are Devon, Ace Tumbulum, Jacqueline, Steph, Eva, Lucille, Erica, Megaya, Tim and Charlotte and Alex. You guys are awesome.